Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. Today I've got a super exciting video for you because we're going to be trying out the VE Cosmetics Blood Moon Palette. It only came out this week and I think it was released Thursday. Today, as I'm filming this, it's Sunday. It came to me super, super quickly. So I'm really excited to be able to show it to you today. If you're not aware, VE Cosmetics are a UK-based vegan and cruelty-free indie brand with a very witchy, gothy kind of aesthetic and I just love everything they do. I don't own too many of their things, but I do own their Vixen palette, which is absolutely fantastic. And I will link in the cards for you as we go through the video, the video I made with that, if you want to see that one in action. But today is all about this beautiful Blood Moon palette. So that's the packaging for it. Really, really nice. I love the aesthetic of this and it's an all matte palette which is very unusual to find and I don't own very many all matte palettes so again that was another reason I thought it was interesting it's got a mirror inside and then there's 12 shades and when you see this you'll see why I picked it up because it's all kind of reds and purple tones grungy and dark and gothy just the kind of makeup aesthetic that I enjoy and as I say all matte which is gives you those staples so that you've got all of those shades to play with and you can always add other things but I think in some ways an all matte palette is a lot more versatile than an all shimmer palette for sure and I've created this look completely just using the shades in this palette without adding any other shimmers or anything and I think it worked incredibly well spoiler alert I really really got on well with this palette so as I say, I created the look that I'm currently wearing. So why don't we hop into that? You can see me doing the look and you can see how I got on with the shades, how they blended, etc. And then I'll catch up with you at the end for some final thoughts on the palette. Okay guys, I've zoomed you in, ready to get started. Already done my face makeup and I've already put on my eyeshadow primer, which is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I just thought you don't need to see that in every video. And then for my waterline, I've just gone in with Black Core by Linda Halberg, just to give me a start for the look. So let's get into the exciting bit. As you guys know, these are my kind of colours, but I don't really work with all matte palettes very much, so it's a little bit more challenging to think what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to do a sort of deep purple into red look, so I'm going to start with sort of blue and purple on the outer kind of edges of my eye, and then transition it over to red, more towards the inner part, that's the plan, and then probably a red lower lash line. Then I want to put on quite a big red wing as well, so yeah, quite a lot to do today. To start off the look, I'm going to go in with this one called Serve in my outer V and kind of the outer corner. I'm just going to pack that on in my outer corner, as I say, and in my outer V until I've got it to full opacity there. Just tapping out the eyeshadow primer because it's creasing, but this is a pretty grippy eyeshadow primer, so it really does stop the fallout of it and really make shades pop. I'm going to take the shadow in a rounded kind of shape because I'm going to extend a wing through it so sometimes I think that's the best way to go. That's applying super nicely. Sometimes my issue with all my palettes, particularly on my wrinkly lids, is that I don't get the full payoff and they can kind of look sort of, I don't know, crumbly, crepey, this is going on super opaque. I'm not getting any fallout, which is super impressive. Probably looking completely crazy right now, but that's okay. Love that shade. Purples like this are always patchy normally, so I've not met a good one yet. This is the best one I've found so far, I can tell you. I've got two other VE Cosmetics palettes. I've got the Vixen and I have a multi-chrome palette. The multi-chrome one's beautiful but it's so hard panned in the palette it's difficult to, to get the shades to work. But I love the Vixen but not so much the shimmer shades again. But I really love the matte formula. Right, that's kind of what I want. I'm going to blend around the edges of this with this bright purple shade here. I'm going to use a Sigma E45 because it's got a bit of a tip to it so I think that'll kind of help with the whole being precise about blending thing. I'm just taking that just around the edges. I 
just decided I want to echo on the lower lash line what I'm doing on the upper. I don't always do that, but I'm just going to go back in with that serve shade just on my lower lash line, but with a smudge brush. Sometimes when I'm trying out a new palette, I feel the urge to like put every colour on my eyes, but it can be a lot more effective just sticking with one or two, you know, and making a cohesive look. So I'm loving this lighter purple. It's the perfect blending out shade for that serve shade. This one's called With. So I'm just going to quickly catch up the other eye and then we'll move on to the next step. Next shade I'm going to go in with is this one, the shade Knowledge. Just going to bring that further across my eye. Just going to be creating a gradient from purple to red, basically. Just applying that one with the blending brush. I don't want too much of it because, as I say, I want a gradient. So I want to start introducing a few different colours as we go across. Just using small kind of circular blending motions for this. Primer's creasing again, but trust me, it is worth using this primer because it really does grip the shadows. Oh, I'm loving this formula so much. It's a really pretty colour. I haven't got purples that work as well as this in my collection, I can tell you. They look as pretty as this. Now we're going to go in with Fiercely, this one. Again, I'm just Pulling the gradient across. Trying to really work on getting those shades blended together. Okay, something along those lines. It'll all come together at the end, hopefully. Next up, we're going into this one, which is the shade Love. And this is where we're going to start pulling the, the pigment from purple more so into red. And then in the inner part, we're going to go in with the brightest red in the palette. This one be yourself. Quite an orangey red. I'm going to pack that down first, try and get the most pigment I can from it and then we'll blend around the edges afterwards. These are going on super super opaque as you can see on the lids. I've got no kind of gaps which you sometimes get with a matte shadow if you're packing it on the lids. I wasn't sure I've got enough red in the look but I think that's really brought it to life now. Now I've got that shade laid down, I'm going to blend just in this inner part. I've got a quite a small flexible brush just to try and diffuse the edges here. And then now I'm just going to blend around the edges just to fade that up towards my brows. I don't want to use a brow bone highlight and I just want to just blend everything seamlessly out up there really. I'm just going to do the same pretty much echoing what I've done on the upper lids on the lower lids now. So I'm going to go in with Fiercely. Just pop a little bit of that on the lower lash line to blend in with those purples. And then we just want to wrap the red around here, that area there. And just make sure everything's blended out underneath. Okay, so that's the eyeshadows to this point. Just going to hop off camera to do the red wing because wings are always tricky to do, so I'm going to take my time, create a nice big red wing, mascara and a lip, and I'll be back with you when I'm complete. Okay guys, so this is the finished look of course. I've finished off with a big red wing as promised. It took me ages to get this right today. I'm not sure it's completely even, but I do love the contrast of that purple with the red wing. So I used a side effects gel liner from Lethal. This is in the shade Q to do this. I just watered it down a little bit with some Duraline to make it a little bit more 
liquid so that I could get it to run across these aged lids of mine because I do struggle with that. These are great in the waterline but not so easy to do wings with but that's my top tip if you struggle with that and you're my kind of age. And then for lips today I've gone in with Luna Beauty's Witch Bitch because whenever I have chance to use this lipstick I love to use it. I love a deep blood red lipstick like this and I thought it suited the aesthetic of the palette and, and the whole look really really well. So my thoughts then on the VE Cosmetics Blood Moon palette. Well if you like these kind of shades, you like reds and purples and deep blues and greys and you don't have too many of these or even if you do but you don't have them all in one palette and you're looking for fantastic mattes that are pigmented but that blend really well I honestly think you can't go wrong. The opacity that you get from these shades but with no fallout it's some kind of witchcraft honestly I don't know how they've done this because I love Melt Cosmetics, you guys know that, but the amount of fallout from the Beetlejuice palette, and when I used that, the one with all the reds in it, was just ridiculous. I did that uh, without putting my face makeup on first because I knew how much fallout there would be. But with these, there was just zero fallout and they were super pigmented, super kind of creamy for mattes to apply, but blendable as well. I'm not the best at blending, you guys will know that if you've been here before, but I still think it's achieved a really lovely blended gradient and there's no kind of crepiness or, you know, spots where it hasn't kind of adhered to my eyelid, which I sometimes do struggle with. So it's an absolutely bomb formula. Really, really excited to have it. So as I say, I can wholeheartedly recommend it. I've used a lot of the shades today. I've used what, one, two, three, four, five, six out of the 12. So I've used half the palette and I thought every one of the shades applied in pretty much the same way. So I'm confident to say that this is a really, really good formula. So if you want it, then it's available now. As I say, it came out last week and that's just one other thing that I want to say because I think that's important to let you guys know. The customer service for this was absolutely incredible. I ordered this on Thursday afternoon at about three o'clock. By four o'clock, I'd got a shipping confirmation and then I received it on Saturday morning. So that's just incredibly fast. And I just use the normal shipping, like the first class shipping, and I'm in the UK and that's where they're based, but, but to get it in literally a day and a half, that's just amazing, I think and it's always packaged so beautifully. She's got bespoke kind of black shiny boxes with all the logo on, and it's wrapped with so much bubble wrap that you can be assured that there'll be nothing happen to your palette when it's dispatched to you. Just think they're an excellent brand doing really amazing products. So definitely would stand behind them as a brand. So if you wanna pick it up, my friend Nikki has a code because when you first uh, bought this, there was a code Blood Moon that was automatically applied for 20% off, which is what I did. But you can get 10% off now. That, that code was only running for a couple of days, but you can get 10% off using my friend Nikki's code. So I'll drop her code down in my description box if you decide to pick this up. But yeah, I had such a good time with it. Can't say enough good things about it. Can't wait to use it again. And yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing me create the look and it might have inspired you to either to pick this up or to dupe it with some shades that are similar that you may have in your collection. But that's all I've got for you today. If you're new to my channel, then I'd love it if you might consider subscribing before you go. And if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button for me. It really, really does help me out. But other than that, guys, I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>